Hi, Todd Gorn here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomePage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomePage.com news app. And here's a look at first of all disturbance which is on the way. Uh, we have enjoyed the sunshine over the last couple of days. We can see this little uh, impulse here now moving across the Rockies will spread some precipitation across the Arcletex tonight, tomorrow into Thursday. And we could begin things with a little bit of winter precipitation across the northern sections of the Arcletex. Here's why temperatures tonight will be dipping down pretty close to freezing across so much of southwest Arkansas, uh, northeast Texas, and southeast Oklahoma. Uh, elsewhere, temperatures probably dipping into the uh, mid-30s, right around 33, 34 in Shreveport tonight, 32 in Texarkana, and 32 also for the nighttime low in Dequeen. Uh, high temperatures tomorrow, we will struggle to make it into the low 40s in Shreveport at 41. 39 degrees for the high tomorrow in Texarkana with a cold rain for most of the day and uh, mid 40s, 46 you can see for the high tomorrow in Natchitoches. Now we do have a winter weather advisory which is in effect into the morning hours tomorrow basically for McCurtain County, Little River County, uh, Sevier County, and Howard County possibility. We could see uh, a little bit of a snow sleep mix. Not much accumulation there. Uh, maybe a little bit of a dusting. Main concern could be a little bit of freezing rain uh, at the tail end of the winter precipitation, which could cause a few slick spots in these areas in purple. And I'll talk about the impacts of those here in a second. Meantime, looking at Futurecast, showing the timing of things as we go through the evening hours. The clouds will be on the increase across the Arcletex. Overnight tonight after midnight, you can see at 3 a.m. looking at the rain and Winter mix beginning to enter the western edge of the Oracle Text. The areas of blue represent snow, pink represents freezing rain, and there will be some sleep mix there and there as well. You can see mainly snow western sections of the area as it moves east. And as we head into the uh, sunrise time frame, we're looking at a transition to all freezing rain uh, across the northern edge of the area in that winter weather advisory region. And then this will become all rain by the time we get to mid-morning and likely will stay all rain uh, throughout the day tomorrow. You can see uh, the persistent showers, which will continue as temperatures warm up above freezing. And we will likely continue to warm up tomorrow night, so we will stay rain. And then what's left of the rain Thursday morning should come to an end and we may close Thursday with a little bit of late day sunshine over the western sections of the Oracle text. Now as we go through Thursday night we will see conditions continue to uh, uh, clear out as uh, some cooler air begins to move in and uh, that will eventually lead to a warming trend with that sunshine continuing into the weekend. More on that in the seven day forecast in a second. But as far as potential winter impacts uh, late tonight into Wednesday morning, again a little bit of a dusting, this very light dusting of snow sleep possible. Some patchy icing will be possible in spots during that time frame uh, around sunrise when we could see a period of freezing rain in these areas of blue uh, that could affect the north Northern sections of Hempstead County as well. Uh, by the time we get to further south, again, some winter mix, Clarksville, New Boston, Texarkana, uh, perhaps uh, Prescott, but again, shouldn't cause too many issues there as uh, uh, it won't last very long. Again, a sleep pallor or two may be possible in Shreveport, not looking at much of any snow, mainly going to be rain in this uh, uh, blue green area. And then further to the south, obviously where it's going to be warmer, looking at all rain across uh, the southern half of the Oracle text. So that's what we're kind of looking at as far as a breakdown of what we will see, we we'll receive, where we will receive it. And again, the main time frame of concern for any uh, patchy icing will be very late tonight, right around sunrise, and then conditions will gradually moderate uh, heading into the first half of the morning uh, for the northern edge of the area. As far as rainfall potential, again, uh, we will eventually become all rain, and we could see a decent amount of it. Futurecast showing that we could see more than an inch, inch and a half possible across most of the Oracle text, that area of green. Other than that, if you don't get an inch, you'll see a good half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Again, most of that happening from very late tonight through tomorrow night and into Thursday morning, and it should wrap up as we go through the day Thursday. Now, the overall weather pattern looks like this. Here's the first disturbance moving in. It'll push on through. Uh, we will see a break for several days. Probably going to have to wait until the middle of next week. You can see another disturbance, which will give us another shot for some showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two as we look ahead to next Tuesday. So again, tonight, tomorrow, into Thursday morning, then a big break, and then more rain possible by the middle part of next week. So here's how it all breaks down in your seven-day forecast. You can see temperatures 41 for the afternoon high. Our high tomorrow could be midnight tomorrow night as temperatures will continue to rise during the nighttime hours tomorrow night. Uh, as we go into Thursday, 56 for the high with uh, rain mainly in the morning. Then lots of sunshine from Friday through Monday with a warming trend. Temperatures by Monday in Shreveport back up into the mid to upper 
upper 60s. We'll see that next chance for some rain, maybe a little bit of thunder by late next Tuesday. In Texarkana, your seven-day forecast that I share each evening on KSHV V45 at 5.30 during Texarkana First News shows the winter mix early possible, not expecting any issues in Texarkana. Uh, it'll be probably north of Texarkana. Becomes all rain very quickly in the morning, and we will stay rain into Thursday. And you too will see a nice warm up with temperatures in the mid 60s by Monday. The next chance of rain for Texarkana likely holds off until the middle part of next week. So, once again, we do have a winter weather advisory for the northern edge of the Oracle Tex. A few slick spots with some very light icing possible, especially on the bridges and overpasses, basically for McCurtain County, for Little River County, for Sevier County, as well as Howard County. Those those are the main areas where that will be a possibility uh, to occur late tonight into the mid-morning hours tomorrow.